All right, what I'm going to do is a quick little 10 minute loan officer Facebook ads class and uh, basically just show you some basics of what we're doing on Facebook in order to generate home buyer leads, um, whether that's short, short form, medium form, long form, survey funnels, messenger bot funnels, like we're doing all of that inside the Legion of Loan Officers. And there's a really good chance that even if you're running Facebook ads, there's going to be something that you can learn from this little video. So stick around. When you look at running loan officer Facebook ads, there's a couple of different ways that you can get started. So I'm going to share with you from the simplest way to get started all the way up and through the more complex ways to get started, how much you can expect to spend, uh, what you could expect your return on that investment to be, and that sort of thing, okay? So first what I want to do is share with you the template that's working with us the very, very best. Um, this template we're using whether we're running as a lead generation ad or if we're using conversions and we're sending the traffic off of Facebook or you know, if we're using the Facebook lead forms, it doesn't matter. We're using the same template on almost every ad that we're running today and I'm gonna share it with you right now. So what it looks like is basically like this, okay? So imagine this is your Facebook ad. What we're gonna do, now in this case, what I'm gonna talk about is like if you're gonna run a single property ad or this could be for first time home buyers, it could be for a specific company employees, specific industry, uh, it can be retargeting, it can be for your database, um, it can be to refinances, to veterans for VA loans, tons of ways that you can run this exact same template that I'm gonna share with you right now, okay? So the first thing is on this top line right here, that needs to be like a call to act. It needs to be a, an attention line, okay? So that first line up here is really designed to get their attention. The thing is, people are flicking that thumb so fast on Facebook or on Instagram, and you gotta have a thumb stopper, okay? A lot of times, the headline is gonna be part of creating that thumb stopper. Obviously, the photo is a big piece of it, but this first line right here, calling out and creating some attention grabbing, um, is really going to let them know, okay, does this post that I'm stopping for, does it apply to me? Is it app applicable to me? Or should I just keep going, right? And so, for example, this is how you can call out, you know, what industry are you talking to? Or you can call out what, um, uh, what city the house is in that you're talking about. Or you can call out um, what company the people work for, right? Any of these kind of things. Where, you know, so as an example on this attention line, if this was going to be a property ad, for example, I might say just listed for sale in this city or, you know, best deal for sale in this particular city. So a few different ways that you can do that and call it out, right? But by putting a city name or a company name or an industry, any of those kind of things, you have to put something in this first line so that people coming through Facebook, it's like an immediate, okay, this applies to me, right? But if I know if you're talking to firefighters, I'm not a firefighter, I can just keep going. But if I am a firefighter and it says attention, you know, Colorado firefighters, right? Well, now all of a sudden I'm like, okay, hold on a second. Let me figure out what this is because it might be applicable to me, you know? Okay, so first line is to get their attention. The second line is to get their interest. Okay, wow. Pretty tough writing on the whiteboard. Um, the second line up here is to gather their interest. So once you have somebody that actually, you've got the thumb stopper, they're reading the first line, the second line is to really let them know what this is actually about. So it's like, the first line is like, excuse me, is this you? Here's what I'm talking about, right? So it's talking about either um, the property you're advertising or that you have a new special program available for them or whatever it is that your offer is, right? The offer, essentially, of, of how we're going to gather their, get their interest is going to go on that second line. Then the third line is going to be a FOMO statement, okay? If you're not familiar with a FOMO statement, that means a fear of missing out statement. And what we want to do, the goal here on this third line, the one that's right above the photo, is we want to make somebody feel like they're going to be missing out. If they don't click that link and they don't go through the process, they're gonna miss out on something, right? That's what we, that's the feeling that we wanna incite with this third line right here. So it might be like, 
wait until you see how this works, right? Or wait until you see this backyard or um, you have to check out this um, pergola or you, you have to check out this huge bathtub, right? There's so many ways that you can create fear of missing out, but having a FOMO statement will really increase your clicks and it will increase your leads and it will make everything cost less uh, because you have more people going into the top of the funnel, right? Now, this is your photo, obviously, if we're running a property of a house. Wow, it's pretty rough. Here's like a tree in the backyard, whatever. This photo right here is super, super important, okay? The photos are gonna determine a lot of the success rate of your Facebook ads. If you have some like dingy, fuzzy looking photo, you took it on your iPhone in a moving car, it's gonna be really obvious, right? Or if you have a high quality photo that somebody took on a Canon or a Nikon camera or whatever, or a Sony camera, maybe did a little bit of editing, that's gonna also be obvious, okay? Having photos that are really crispy, that have great color contrast inside the photo where there's beautiful green grass, green leaves in the, in the trees, blue sky with a white cloud, uh, right? Or a photo that's a nice, photo that has a lot of color contrast with multiple people in the photo if you're running it to different niches and, and companies and that kind of thing, okay? Having a photo with color contrast that's going to really stand out in the newsfeed is going to make a big, big difference in terms of creating that thumb stopper, right? So you want to make sure number four is that you have an awesome photo, okay? Then below the photo, you're going to have a headline. Okay, you can have one more piece of information there, um, and Facebook calls that a headline. And what you're gonna do in the headline is, we wanna reinforce what's gonna happen after they click um, your link, right? So here we wanna reinforce, and again, this number five is here, that's the photo, and then these three are all up here, right? Now, on the headline, it's a great, you can uh, make each word capitalized, right? Not like every letter capitalized, but just capitalize each word and create it as an actual headline. Um, I like to put some numbers in the headline, tell people exactly what they're gonna get, right? Um, if you're offering, if this is a property ad, you know, tell them that they're gonna get to see all the photos when they click through. If this is an ad for um, an industry or a specific company or for a VA loans or anything like that, just remind them what's gonna happen after they click, right? We wanna reinforce why they should click now. They're at the bottom of the ad, this is our last opportunity to get them to take an action before they continue on to the next post. And we wanna use that last headline as a way to reinforce exactly why they should click through, okay? So this right here in terms of how to run loan officer Facebook ads, if you're looking for a class and you're looking for some training on how to do that, this template right here, has generated us hundreds of thousands of leads at this point, right? Between me, my brother, and our agency, and all the clients that we have in the Legion of Loan Officers, definitely hundreds of thousands of leads have come through this singular template right here. Now, depending on how you're running the campaigns, okay, these leads are gonna cost different costs, right? Um, if you're running short form, maybe you're gonna get these for as low as a dollar, right? And if you're running long form, maybe they're gonna cost as much as $20, okay? So your leads are gonna come in somewhere in between these two numbers here if you're running them for yourselves. Now, obviously if you're paying an agency, there's gonna be some other fees associated with their management and that kind of thing. Um, what's cool about doing it yourself and if you actually learn how to do it yourself, and by the way, if that's something that's interesting to you, check out oneagentaway.com. And what's cool is when you save the money Instead of, paying, um, instead of paying an agency or somebody else to do it for you, you can actually save that money and you can put that money back into your marketing. So there's different ways that you can do that, right? Let's say, for example, an agency was gonna charge you $1,500 a month and they were gonna deliver you um, 100, let's just call it 100 leads, okay? Well, for that same 1,500, you could probably take and get yourself 100 leads spending about, let's just call it $500, right? Now you've still got $1,000 left over. Now you can take and get yourself some software, get yourself a tool like we have you know, in the Legion where it does automated follow-up and it's helping to convert those leads. So maybe a tool like that is gonna cost you about 200 bucks a month, right? So now you're in for 700. 
you still got $800 left over. $800 is definitely enough that you could be able to hire yourself um, a either a part time, um, you know, part time in America or full time overseas VA um, to do your inside sales agent, right? So now you've got 500 is going on ads, 200 is on automation, and then you've got 800 left over. You know, if you need to spend that whole $800, you've got $800 left to spend with an ISA, right? Now you could be for 500 bucks. You know, you could be generating um, maybe what's five hundred dollars. That's going to be somewhere around eighteen dollars a day. So that you know, on single property ads, that's going to be somewhere around nine or ten leads, up to maybe twenty leads at the most. And um, you know, for some of the others, it's going to be maybe in the neighborhood of three to five leads per day, right? So if you are spending your money on an inside sales agent, I recommend getting the most leads you can get and let the ISA sort through them, right? You can generate more like property leads and that sort of thing if you're generating, you know, using an ISA. If you're doing all the follow-up and all the calls and everything for yourself, then um, you might want to spend a little bit more on the leads in order to get like medium form or long form leads, that kind of thing. Because sometimes, you know, if you're doing everything, that's where it can get overwhelming is if you're starting to generate 10 or 20 leads a day. I mean, you can keep up with that for a few days, but eventually it's like, you, you know, it's, you just feel like all you're doing is, is following up with leads. And so as you can have realtors pitching in or as you can be able to adjust around your ad spend or your, you know, your marketing budget, then, then you can start bringing in people for your team and start having these leads really handled in house, right? Um, if you are to, if you spend $500 on ads and you're generating anywhere from, you know, again, right? If we, if we're generating properties, that's probably somewhere like 250 leads. And if you're generating single or long form leads, that's going to be maybe 50 leads, right? So if you're generating property leads, you're spending 500 bucks, you're going to probably be somewhere around 250 leads a month. If you're getting long form leads, you know, long form survey leads, that kind of thing, um, you know, on the uh, expensive side, you're going to be only around 50 leads per month. So if you're getting only 50 leads a month, you can handle that, right? That's only like one or two leads a day. There's really not a reason to go hire an inside sales agent to handle one or two leads a day. They're just going to be upset. But if you're spending, you know, and you're getting 250, 300, 500, 1,000 leads a month, then that's when you should consider to put some money into the ISA also. Because having that is going to make all of this work way, way better, right? So that's just kind of a quick class where I just wanted to show you a template that you can use. One way that you can run ads on Facebook that we're doing, we're doing this right here again with Facebook lead forms. We're doing it with what we call Trojan forms, which is like a medium uh, form length. So it uses the easiness of short forms, but gets the intention of long forms, but not with the cost. And we're also using the same exact template when we're running long form survey funnels and getting 10 or 12 fields of information, right? So lots of ways that you can do this, but this template right here is the very, very best template that we have today in our arsenal. And so just wanted to share that with you. If you want to get specifics and learn exactly what this ad looks like when we run it as a property, when we run it to nurses or doctors or chiropractors, when we run it to people that work at specific companies or to first time home buyers or veterans or specific neighborhoods or refinances or anything else that we have inside the Legion of Loan Officers, because as cool as the Legion is not widget based. So we're going to continue to change and move with the times, even as platforms and everything adjust. So check out legionofloanofficers.com. Do me a huge favor right now. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Drop a comment down below. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We love you. Thank you for being here. See you next time. My goal and intention at this moment is to do two videos per week. I hope you're having an awesome day. See you next time.